Good morning, boxing fans. It's your boy Joe Martini. Um, coming at you with a uh, another fight preview of a championship fight it's coming up on um, February 16. This is on ESPN. It's gonna be in Reno, Nevada, February 16th. That's that's um tomorrow and uh, on a Friday. Um, basically. Uh, you got Raimundo Beltran versus um, Paulus Moses, uh, 12 rounds for the vacant WBO lightweight title. Um, it's going to be an interesting fight, man. Um, you know, these guys are older veterans. Both of them are old boxers, older veterans. One is 36, one is 39. They've both been in the game, um, you know... 17 19 years um, um so let's start off with raymundo beltran first um raymundo beltran is uh raymundo sugar beltran is a fighter that uh has got 34 wins seven losses one draw 21 knockouts he's a six rank uh lightweight has uh, been in 236 rounds in his career he is a 19 year professional he's 36 years old he's five foot eight with a six uh Five foot eight with a um, 68 inch reach, and he's a right-handed Mexican fighter. Um, so that's uh, Mr. Beltron. Some interesting notes about him is that um, he did fight Terence Crawford and uh, took him 12 rounds, uh, lost by unanimous decision. He's on a five-fight uh, win streak with four knockouts, uh, which earned him this um, shot at a vacant WBO title. Um, uh, he's one, 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 and one with a no contest against world championship fighters. Um, so he's uh, won a fight, lost a fight. He's got a draw and a no contest. Um, he's gonna be going up against Paulus, the Hitman Moses. Uh, he's got 40 wins, three losses, and zero draws. He's got 25 knockouts. He is the 18th ranked lightweight. He's been in 294 rounds in his career. And he's a 17-year professional who is 39 years old. Um, he's five foot eight as well, but he's got a, a reach advantage over Beltron, 70, uh, 72 and a half inch reach advantage. He's a not Nam, 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 Namibian uh, fighter, and um, you know, not too shabby of a record, man. But unknown in the United States, um, this fight will be in the United States. Um, the guy's fought in England. I mean, he's fought in five countries. He's been in England. He's been in the United Kingdom. Uh, you know, um, uh, Japan, um, Nami, Nami where he's from, and South Africa. So he, you know, he's not a guy that just fights, fought in his home country and is making a U.S. debut. This guy has been around the world. So I don't think that um, fighting the USA is going to affect this guy very much. Um, you know, in January 2009, he became the WBA World Lightweight Champion. At the time, he was 24 and 0. Um, he defended it once and then and then lost, and that was his first career loss, May 2010. Um, the guy is not a pushover, man. He's uh, he's also on a five-fight win streak with three knockouts. So, um, but in uh, he's fought um, six world champions. He's three and three in his career. All his three losses have come against world champion fighters this guy is a definitely um, a good fighter too bad that we couldn't see him in his prime I mean the guy is 39 years old now um, it would have been nice to see him here in the US in his prime versus some real good fighters um, especially in the lightweight division we had a lot of good fighters in the mid 90s late 2000s that it would have been nice to see him go up against um, Competition hasn't been that great in the last couple of years. He's been fighting um, guys ranked in the over, you know, 200, 500, 300 ranked fighters. Um, but still, in, in, an interesting fight because um, it'll be the first time he loses against a boxer who never won a world title. If he loses, um, he's 39 years old, so he's got his age going against him. Um, he hasn't fought top competition almost two years. First fight in the USA, Beltron, will he get it right? This is his fourth try at a uh, 
you know, his first, his fourth try at a world title. Will he finally get it right since he had a draw once, a no contest the other, came in and overweight, uh, you know, was doping on that one and uh, and lost on another one. So, um, interesting fight. Keep in mind, these guys have not been knocked out in over eight years, both of them. They have losses, but none of them have lost by KO in over eight years. Uh, so I think it's going to be a close fight. It's very hard um, to, it can be anybody's fight. It, it's all going to come down to who's in better conditioning, who came, who really wants it. Um, these kind of fights you can't, I can't really pick a winner, but um, but this is what I do, right? So um, I'm going to have to give it to Beltron, but it's going to be a close decision, a close decision. I think Beltron will finally capture his first world title. Uh, the guy... If you watch his fights, he's a fighter. Um, um, I've seen more. I've seen more Beltron than Moses. I really don't know Moses. I mean, I know he fought Ricky Burns, but I, I'm going with Beltron on this one. Um, it's just too close to call. Uh, decision win for Beltron. Your boy, Joe Martin. One.